to Partick Thistle 1 and that result means Partick Thistle are now certainties for the playoff position with Falkirk already relegated. Congra Let's get the story from Rugby Park, Kilmarnock against Partick Thistle from Ron Marshall. Well, the threat of relegation brings its own edginess to players. That was surely the case for both Kilmarnock and Thistle. A first half of scampering nervousness delivered only two incidents worth mentioning. A rash clearance from way out of goal by killy keeper Lekovic that was smartly followed back by Nicky Henderson and not unlucky to go narrowly past. And at the other end, Jim McIntyre's astute chip from about 15 yards struck the crossbar. The goal that consigned Thistle to a playoff came in 62 minutes, across from the right by Ali Mitchell, powerfully headed home by a woefully unmarked Mark Skilling. Substitute Tommy Turner did squeeze in a Thistle equaliser in 73 minutes, but five minutes from time, Thistle keeper Nicky Walker brought down McIntyre inside the box, and Tom Brown's penalty kick gave Kelly the points. So it's the dreaded two-match battle for Premier survival for the Glasgow side. The final score, Kilmarnock 2, Partick Thistle 1. Down below, Aberdeen and Hearts drew one each and stay in third and fourth positions. Kilmarnock are up to fifth. They beat Partick Thistle by two goals to one at Rugby Park. Skilling and Black scored their goals. And that defeat of Thistle uh, means that Partick are now certainties for the playoffs. And the, the defeat at Celtic Park means that Falkirk are relegated. Thistle with it all to do at Rugby Park, they looked the hungrier side early on. Nicky Henderson lining up a good chance, giving notice that the Jags were in the mood to win. Kilmarnock, well they had a slight danger of going into the playoffs and that was their motivation. Wright setting up Jim McIntyre, no joy for the new boy. Thistle's best chance of the first half was set up by the killy keeper Drago Lekovic. A crazy incident coming up. Now that looks easy enough for him, but then panic set in. The clearance reaching Nicky Henderson surely would go in, but luckily for the keeper, it went past the post. Ray Montgomery wouldn't have been so supportive if it had been a goal. Alex Totten's men then recovering from that heart-stopping moment. Just watch what Jim McIntyre does now. On the edge of the box, he looks up. That's a great curling shot, denied just by the bar. Mark Skilling then, Walker keeping it out. So, nil-nil at half-time, and it's the home side charging forward again. Tom Black doing the damage down the left. Looks for Paul Wright, he floats one in. Ali Mitchell is there. But again, denied by Woodwork. So, Kilmarnock in search of the first goal. Ali Mitchell here making the run. And watch the Thistle marking in the box. Nobody on Mark Skilling. And he takes advantage. Easy chance there, past Nicky Walker. 1-0 Kilmarnock. Full credit to the Jags. They struck back 10 minutes later. The ball should have been cleared. Four men in the line. Four Killy defenders. Tommy Turner just heads it in. And it's 1-1. Can the Jags beat the drop? Well, just a few moments later, here's the answer. Penalty kick, no doubt about it. Nicky Walker pulling down Jim McIntyre. Tom Black steps forward to take it. It's going to be the playoffs for the Jags. 2-1 at the end for Killy.